In this video we're looking at the new uh, user interface. Um, it's a brand new uh, representation uh, and graphical interface for how to install products into the uh, project from uh, the MagicAd database or cloud or your own database or third party um, RFA families. So um, depends on which tab you are in, which discipline you're in here. If you click install products you now get this new UI where you can see it's different than the previous versions. It's got all the different uh, types of uh, component you can put in for different disciplines. Um, uh, for this one we can just look at uh, the grills here. Uh, you can see that we've got the different types of grill, um, all the different family types uh, it would be for that particular grill. You've got the technical data on the right hand side properties and obviously the size preview, the 3D preview like so. So that's, uh, it looks looks familiar but it is uh, is different and it's a lot more um, uh, streamlined slick the way it uh, operates and installs products. And of course when you're in here you can still jump around and go into the uh, piping module, look at some radiators if you want in there. You can look at electrical, look at a socket and just scroll through like so. So you, you can see here it's it is it's it's different than the previous uh, uh, sort of modified data set or installation. And then once you've chosen a product that uh, you want to install, which I'm going to go with supply and want to install this type, I'll just press OK, and then we will now get this new window that uh, appears here. You can see there it, it expands if you hover over it or and disappears when you don't. Uh, you can select different options whether it's a free installation or you can go to array in here so you can see it's uh, it's uh, on the point of um, installation you can choose all the different options and then when you've chosen something you can actually preview it and update it so if I'm going to put a, an array of grills in here you can see there I've got two in there now but if I want to put three in just choose three and update and it'll just update it without actually leaving the command so we can still um, edit that and you can change the uh, the heights and obviously any other settings in this case of a grill where it's end of duct or uh, the side of duct um, and then once you're happy with the uh, installation itself just press apply and then it's in there and obviously you've, you've still got uh, options of which system it goes on uh, technical data and whether you want to put arrows and what angle of installation things like that so you get the options that exist previously but it's all now in a nice um, dialog box within the uh, Revit environment rather than doing it uh, prior to installation and obviously like I said you can do live updates so just hit the apply button and then just escape and there they are there's the grills in there so that's just the ventilation side of it um, very very similar for in piping if I was in a piping view for instance I want to put a radiator into the project it's just very very similar. Um, you just hit install product, choose which particular product it is, like so, and you get the the options uh, for systems um, down here. So it is very similar to previously, but it's just an enhanced and slicker way of um, operating in here, and then you can just choose your power output as normal and then just press OK and then we're going to install this radiator and now you get the, the new UI for this radiator will appear um, in a second when the family's been created like so but this time you can just choose you know, free and then as usual you can just insert the radiator like a free example like that and uh, like previously you can choose the connection point so you can choose how you want the radiator to be connected so which configuration for that you can choose the valves um, so obviously if you're used to previous versions of MagicAd it's all familiar but it's all done as I say on the fly through the uh, this uh, new UI interface then just press OK and they will now create that um, particular configuration for that installation of radiator with the, with the valves and the uh, the connection points are selected in that UI and then once it's done that we'll just look at the electrical side and then uh, that will be the uh, all disciplines covered then so you can see there there's the radiator with the valves on so uh,
happy with that. And then I'll just go to a lighting view. So let's go into here. And then finally, I'll just show you how to do a luminaire. So you press on there, choose which one you want to do. So it's this one. Choose again, similar, whether it's hosted or not. Press OK, and I'm not going to labour the uh, UI and the and the, um, the hovering window here too much. I'm just going to show you that it works exactly the same for the lighting as well. And then just press Apply, and then you can see you've just dropped the light fitting in there. So that's the UI. And another big feature of this release is the fact we can now use third-party um, uh, families as well in the data set, not just from Magic Add databases. So if we go to, for example, install product, and then this time uh, we'll look at the ventilation and fan. You can see here, if you go to data set properties, you'll now see that we have a select from browser or select from disk. If you select from disk, you can just navigate to where your, your families are and just press OK. And then you can insert the family and you get a little preview of the, the, the sort of family uh, cut of the picture. And then you can see the family types if there are any for this particular family. But this is now part of a data set, so it's like so, it, so it is now um, alongside the MagiCAD uh, database products. But now we've got third party families and let's press OK. But we now get all the, the advantages now of having third-party RFAs uh, within the data set which can be obviously controlled and that's your own content but then you get the advantages of installation um, through this UI with third-party families where if you want to give systems a name while you're on the go here and the heights and offsets and things like that for this particular product and just press OK and then apply so you can now bring in these third-party RFAs through uh, the Magic Ad uh, functions and that goes for any literally any family and obviously you can start drawing off there so if you, if you bring in a third party light fitting a third party socket a third party grill it doesn't matter they all come in through the same way but you get the uh, magic add options uh, for the installation so um, I think that covers the uh, the new UI and the third party functionality um, I'll just say that the new RFAs, the third party RFAs you bring in. The final point I want to make is that we can use all our calculations now with uh, third party RFAs, so with a third party radiator, third party grill, third party fan. Uh, you will lose some data um, with the fans and pressure drops and things like that. The intelligence that's uh, modeled into our, our own products because obviously third-party RFAs won't have this but you'll have all the distribution systems that are available to, to calculate so it's uh, a really big step forward for the, the software and getting the most out of it okay thanks for your time